In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a technique I use on a lot of my sites to redirect my root URL to a subdirectory on my site. And the reason I do that is that it allows me to install an application like WordPress in a subdirectory and then have my uh, main URL redirected to that subdirectory automatically. Uh, and that keeps me from having to have all my source code in the root directory or do some work around uh, to have that happen. Uh, this is a pretty easy technique. If you have cPanel, it uh, makes it even easier. So I'm going to show you how to do it in cPanel. If you notice on my edutalk.org site, here the main site, uh, my blog is in a subdirectory called blog. So when you come to my site, this is the main thing on that site that I have. Now I have some other things on the site that are in other subdirectories and I have a few things in root and so forth. But the, I want the home page of my site to be my WordPress blog that's installed in this blog subdirectory. So there are a couple ways I could do that. I could use the technique described in uh, the documents on WordPress.org to have a blog exist in a subdirectory and uh, but have it look like it's in root. Uh, I, I could do that but I choose not to. It's just simpler for me to go ahead and have my blog in the subdirectory and then just redirect my URL to that subdirectory. So the way that we do that, uh, before I explain how to do it, let me show you what I mean here. If someone were to type in or click on a link or anything that just says edutalk.org and come to my site, notice it automatically adds blog to the end of it. It automatically redirects to blog. So it doesn't matter if they click on a link, it doesn't matter if they just type edutalk.org and hit enter, it's going to redirect to blog automatically. Uh, and uh, so that makes essentially my WordPress blog that's in the blog subdirectory the home page of my site. So the way to do that if you're on a host with cPanel uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is in your cPanel go down and look and somewhere in cPanel probably under your domains area there will be a redirects link. Click on that redirects and then in the redirects uh, here in the, the type box just either leave it all public domains or if you have more than one domain you can select one. I only have one on this site. Uh, redirects to and type in the directory you want it to redirect to. So for example the way I have this one set up it's already there. I have edutalk.org blog typed in here and I'm redirecting, redirecting all traffic that just goes to my root directory to that blog. So let me remove this and show you how it works essentially. I'll remove that redirect. We'll go back here and I'm just going to type in now edutalk.org and hit enter and notice it stays on edutalk.org. Um, and I don't have anything there in edutalk.org. Uh, I don't have an index file or anything so it's just uh, showing nothing, showing that it's broken. Uh, when I go to cPanel and I add that redirect what I do is I leave it on all public domains or again pick your domain if you have more than one and I type .org blog is the subdirectory I want it redirected to and I want it to redirect uh, with or without www. I don't care if they type www.edutalk.org or just http.edutalk.org. I want it both redirected and click add and that's what adds the redirect. So now if I go down I see that redirect. I leave put it as a permanent type redirect and it's going to use www or not. So now when I come to this site here if someone types in edutalk.org it redirects to blog. If someone types in www.edutalk.org it redirects to blog. So both ways work it's neat, clean, fast, and uh, uh, it's a simple solution to having your blog in a subdirectory, uh, but uh, um, being able just to tell people that your website is your URL. Uh, and so when they type in the URL, they get automatically redirected there.